hello everyone gifted soul here back for another video in this video i am going to be doing a flip through and review of the sacred light oracle deck by anna stark illustrated by selena moon um this is a 36 card deck it is rock pool publishing so their decks are usually somewhere in between that um, number of cards 36 i haven't known for them to have any more than 36 cards and at least the ones that i have from them are 36 card decks um which normally i would not purchase because i don't know i just feel like that's kind of an odd number so 44 cards is the least that is you know something that i would end up buying but this is a good deal because not only is the artwork very gorgeous, you do get gold gilding on the cards and the backings are amazing as well. I did an unboxing of this deck, but I hate how it came out. The quality of the video, well, the quality of my videos currently anyway aren't that good because of the device that I was using and that I'm still using. Now, this is a new, um, well, it's not... A new phone it's one of my sister's old devices that she's no longer using and she out of the kindness of her heart gave it to me and i'm going to be using it i guess to record videos for you guys i'm still gonna be using my other one i don't know how like she has a lot of pictures and videos on here i don't want to get rid of most of them because my nieces and nephews are on it and they're so cute so um i don't know how much storage this thing has but I'm going to use it to its advantage right now. So before I open the box, um, we're going to read it. Connect to higher levels of light frequency. Sacred light oracle blends messages from the ascendant masters and spiritual hierarchy. By assessing the light realms and the cards, you will expand your consciousness and receive direct messages from your ascension guides and celestial teachers. This 36 card or the 36 cards are infused with crystalline energy, combining the healing frequencies of sacred geometry and powerful light energy to raise your personal vibration. And then you have a few of the cards here on the back. So this, uh, again, the device that I was using before made this look hideous. Like it still was, you know, a cute unboxing, but I just didn't like it. And this looks a hell of a lot better. And a little bit more vibrant so um but yeah and, and it is a 96 page guide book as well and if i'm not sure i haven't really went through the guidebook i think it is full color um so yeah, there's a box has the gold writing which i'm afraid is going to mess up eventually it messes up on any deck that i have that has that type of writing on it um, with the gold, it just fades. I don't care where I put it, where I store it, especially like in cold weather, it starts to deteriorate for whatever reason. So uh, I hope I can preserve it because it is a very pretty box. So this is the guidebook. Um, now, I'm not really a guidebook person unless like the cards I get kind of come like in a weird, not weird. I don't even know why I'm using the word weird, but like if they somehow have like different people that i've never heard of or like weird keywords that i've never heard of or never understood so then i would take a look at the guidebook but i am an intuitive reader so especially when i have cards placed in front of me it's just all about the energy flow for me i don't necessarily need a guidebook I don't necessarily even need keywords. However, I do love to have decks with keywords because especially if you're trying to save like your energy, you want quick messages, the keywords are there to kind of help, you know, give you something quick and easy that's not going to drain you or have you to think too much. And the same with the guidebook. Again, I don't really reach for the guidebooks much, but again, if I see something unfamiliar, or sometimes I am guided to look at the guidebook's message for an extended message as well, aside from my own intuitive take. So um, that's good for that. And especially the guidebooks work well for those that are beginners. I love that there are guidebooks included in decks because for those that are new to Oracle decks or um, certain goddesses and deities and 
all of this other stuff it is there for them to learn so and refer to so i'm happy with that so let's take a look at this guidebook here this is a full colored guidebook it is very gorgeous just like the deck you have the table of contents this is um published in australia rockpool publishing you have their instagram and their facebook and published in 2021 the acknowledgments and then you have the introduction and all of this great stuff here you do have spreads which normally I don't use, but I may start to get into them. And then we get into the card meanings here. So you have the keywords that are on the cards, the name of the card, and then a full color representation of the card. So you can even use the guidebook as an oracle as well. Um, and it looks like every card has a significant crystal and an affirmation so like for angelic realms the sacred crystal is celestite and then affirmation i surrender my fear and open my hearts to gratitude and it looks like it's there for every card and then of course you have other decks by anna stark and i do have um her sacred power uh reading cards in my collection there's the illustrator there's the arthur and yeah, it's a pretty good guidebook. And now I'm going to, I kind of want that right there. Put that over there. Okay. So to be extra, I don't know why, but I kept that. <laughs> Maybe it might come in handy. Okay. Don't mind the bruises, childhood scars, playing around, you know. So anyway, I don't know if you can see this pretty well, but there's the gold gilding. Okay, I may actually have to move this out of the way. And there's like the inside of the box. Okay, come on. All right, so these are the backs and they are so pretty. Um, now this is perfect lighting, but it definitely still looks better in person. Like it is glossy. these are not in order anymore because i have shuffled them i did a whole video on them um before so yeah they're out of order completely so we have cathedral of light so there are keywords there is very small keywords um and that is a pet peeve a little bit for me so um that is my only complaint about the deck so far, I will say. Uh, so, yeah. But it is otherwise a fantastic deck. We have Dharma. Well, so, for example, like I was saying earlier, with these unfamiliar... Now, I've heard of Dharma, but, you know, to just refresh your memory, get the guidebook and it may tell you a little bit about her. Um or a little bit about like the purpose for this card and why she represents karmic lessons, peer pressure, moral codes. But see, that is enough. That right there is enough. Those keywords, I don't even have to focus on that message. Just maybe the image and the keywords. So the name of the person or this, the main title, that is something that I wouldn't really have to pay attention to. However, spirit may point it out to me whenever you know they need me to um 
focus on that aspect of the card in whatever reading I may be doing at the time. So we have Archangel Michael. And of course, I've heard of him and the keywords. We have past life. So this is definitely an oracle deck for those of you that are trying to ascend on a higher level spiritually. Um, I feel like this is for shadow work as well. And it is for lights, uh, you know, light working too. But definitely it can kind of get you to go in deep to really figure out like your identity and your purpose and just a lot of things that you may not otherwise focus on. So I do recommend this deck to kind of get you, you know, dedicated to learning more about you on a spiritual level. And they are numbered. So yeah, that's my only problem. Yeah, the um the keywords. Not the keywords themselves, but the fact that they're so small. Not this title, but the keywords at the bottom. Light activation. Soul family. Galactic vibration. And I feel like it's like kind of like a star seed type of energy as well. So you have personal conviction, raising your resilience, direct channel, sacred space, magical alchemy, light body, love, love, love this. It's just something about blue and purple together. I really love it. Blue, purple, blue, and pink. Tibetan fire serpent. And I do feel like there's um, a good mixture of masculine and feminine energies in here too. Um, at least it's enough for me. Language of light. Cosmic Wave. Love this. Spirit Guides. Okay, so the light kind of changed on this because the battery is probably going to be dying soon. So whenever I have the flashlight on and it just goes off, that's likely what's happening. I'm just glad that it hasn't shut off. As long as it's still going. Energy medicine. Celestial channel. Hidden beauty. Remaining optimistic. Staying neutral. Golden Light Ray. Now, I will say there are more women, but there is still a um, good mix of masculine presence there as well, as far as men go. Um, power of Presence. Temple of Mary. So I'll say now with this flashlight off, it is kind of like a little, let me see. I mean, actually it's kind of pretty much the same because you do just keep in mind that the colors can differ because if I'm in person to on a, any type of recording device. So, but for the most part, this particular device is picking it up quite accurately, obviously not completely, but for the most part overall, I would say. 85% accurate as far as like how it actually looks in person. Crystal Kingdom. I love when decks include like psychic abilities and crystals and divination tools and stuff. I love that. Then you have well being, self preservation, service to spirit, youthful spirit. 
and inner oracle you are the channel deja vu self-fulfilling prophecy so what i want to do and hopefully this thing doesn't the gold looks better actually with the flashlight off so that's probably why you couldn't see it or at least i can't see that it's showing good so i'm gonna do a card pull here and we're gonna look at the guidebook and let, that's what comes up we're gonna take a look at the guidebook just to see how it reads so we have power of presence, number 25, a power struggle, unlock your potential, authenticity. And 25. Okay. So... Okay, so it rereads everything that's on the card there. Um, to have the power of presence is to hold your heart's confidence in all areas of your life. Those who have the power of presence are often charming and inspiring, commanding the intention of others or attention of others. To have influential presence, you must be a great communicator, taking humble pride in your life's achieve achievements and expressing yourself authentically. However, people with presence have the potential to manipulate others who are unsure of their own persona. persona. Cult leader, leaders have mastered their personal presence to influence others for negative reasons. I'm trying to read too fast. I'm kind of scared this camera is going to shut off. That's why. But um, anyway, having a strong presence can create egotistical attitudes. Be cautious of self-proclaimed business people, gurus, and those who seek fame and fortune. The powerful Earth Ascension Master Chief Sitting Bull identifies your need to create strong boundaries and personal presence. The eagle feathers in his beautiful headdress represents the ancient wisdom between the land and human spirit carried by the light of his soul. He asks you to stand tall and speak from your heart. Words are powerful, but your actions speak louder. Connect to Chief Sitting Bull when you need to enforce a strong mental attitude. You are a catalyst that uplifts and changes those you meet along the way, although you may appear arrogant and materialistic. Stay, stay humble and true to gratu gratuitous principles. You are divinely designed to empower others with your passion. Uh, okay, so this book is kind of... Anyway, not the message in the book, but the shadow was making it look darker or whatever but so sinful actions come from greedy souls harm none ascension master chief sitting bull so that's a quote i'm not sure if any of the other ones have quotes i didn't notice that when we went through it before affirmation i am a powerful presence i am humble and gracious when communicating with others okay let's see do they all have other okay it looks like they do all have quotes which I didn't notice at first. So. so that is the Sacred Light Oracle. Um, it is pretty much um, very inexpensive. I think it's a good deal, especially, again, that you get the gilding and it is a pretty deck. Um, like the backs, the gilding, all of that. But yeah, this is pretty much not pretty much telling you not to allow people to change who you are, not to become greedy with like your success and the power that you have. Use your use it to your advantage, but not to overdo it. So that's the message there. But um but yeah, this deck was 14 like 50 something i think on amazon prime um very worth it obviously with tax and everything it was about 15 16 dollars or so um but still a very great price um definitely check it out if you want to i would recommend it again if you're trying to ascend on a higher level in a spiritual sense um it is only 36 cards again but i do feel like the price is very worth it for everything that you do get and the purpose of the deck. 
So that is what I have for you guys for this video. Let me know if you want more unboxings. I did actually, again, do a video on this before, but again, the device I was using makes everything not completely true to color. Not that this device does either, but it's closer, a lot closer than the other device that I was using. Um, and yeah, so definitely give it a go. Check it out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for being here. Please leave a like, subscribe, share if you feel inclined to. If you like our private reading or anything, or would like to buy any of the decks that I have created, all of my links are going to be in the description box below. Thank you so much for being here, for watching and supporting. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care.